What's up, Test Squad? Welcome back. Today, we are solving a big problem. Stretching your Wi-Fi network 200 meters without losing speed. So cameras are easy. They need peanuts for bandwidth. But as has point, they're hungry. So let's dive into the high-speed PoE magic that makes this work. So last time, we pushed cameras to 250 meters by dropping their speed to 10 megabit per second. But as has points, they need gigabit speed for streaming, gaming, and more. Sacrificing speed isn't an option. And I know you've all been there. Oh my SS point dad, at 200 meters, my cable is fine and the switch is gigabit. So what's wrong? So how do we go the distance and keep the juice? We know standard PoE switches tap out at 100 meters for full speed. Beyond that, data crumbles. So it's time for a high-speed extender. Let's meet our Gigabit PoE extender, your signal booster. All you need to do is plug in the main line, and you can even connect up to two SS points downstream. And boom, 200 meters of range at full 1000 megabit per second. Let's do a quick installation. I'm going to connect the router to our PoE injector using this short patch cord. So we can inject both power and data. Put it into the input port and use the 100 meters ethernet cable for the output port. So gigabit speed and power are sending along this 100 meters ethernet cable to our IP67 rated PoE extender. It has aluminum IK10 vandal proof and a wide range working temperature from minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees. So it's perfect for outdoor installation. Plug the 100 meters ethernet cable to the PoE input port and you can connect up to two devices. I'm going to connect another 100 meters to one of the output port and sending the power and data to our SS point here. It's already been connected. So the whole installation is done. But wait, this setup only works with standard PoE devices, IEEE 802.3. Passive PoE is not going to work. Let's talk why. Standard PoE devices negotiate power safely, but passive PoE is just raw voltage 24-7. And nowadays, most dual-mode SS points say that they support both passive and standard PoE, but actually, it only works for 802.3 AF and AT standard, not 802.3 BT standard, which uses 90 watts of power. Why? Because BT standard needs complex power handshakes, which uses all four pairs of the wires to send power and data, and passive PoE can't do that. So if you're using 802.3 BT standard to power your devices, you should stick to standard PoE SS point. And for 200 meters gigabit, CAT6 is mandatory because it has less interference and thicker gauge that lets you push data and power further. CAT5E at 200 meters, it will drop, so don't chip out. So just remember, use standard PoE gear, avoid BT for passive PoE devices, and CAT6 cables only, no exception. So 200 meters Wi-Fi without losing speed, it's done. Feel free to drop a comment below if you've tried this or you want to deep dive on other topics. And stay tuned for more boundary pushing tech hacks. And thank you very much for joining us. I'll catch you in our next one.